the UNDP's Turkey representative, Claudio Tomasi, who joins us now live. Thank you for joining us on the program. Uh, Turkey has made great progress in recent years, um, for example, in regards to health and education. But can it do more to reduce inequality? Hello, good evening, and thanks for having me uh, this evening. And uh, as you said, uh, Turkey has made a remarkable progress in the last 30 years in the aspect of the human development. If you think about it, in 1990, a person who was born in Turkey would have a, an expectation of a life expectancy of 64 years. He's born uh, this year or last year would, have been, would be 77 years. So it's an increase in 13 years uh, of uh, lifespan. In terms of schooling, we passed from nine years uh, expectancy to over 16 years expectancy. And in terms of GNI per capita, from 11,000 to 24,000 at purchasing parity. And uh, these, uh, by all means, are progresses that uh, are important, are relevant, uh, but they are not uh, only belonging to Turkey. Uh, the good news is that the human development around the world has gone up in the 30, last 30 years of about 20 percent. Difference is that in Turkey has gone up around 40 percent. So it's a double uh, good uh, news. Mm -hmm. Having said so, as uh, you saw just uh, right now in the video, there are some persistent effects of inequalities that uh, constitute really roadblocks to human development and to the achievement of Agenda 2030. And why right. is that? Because some inequalities are so entrenched in our societies that uh, pose serious problem in reaching further progress. Mm -hmm. So given that climate change and technology and, factors uh, are now... So when we look at the case of Turkey... Right. Uh, climate change and technology factors are now driving divisions. Do you think Turkey needs to be more eco-friendly and play a bigger part in the fight against the climate crisis? Well, definitely climate change is the issue of uh, this century and the effects of uh, climate change, as you can see in the report, uh, are unequal amongst countries, are unequal amongst people in one country, which unfortunately the countries causing majority of the climate change are normally the one getting the least hit by the same effects. So typically are tropical countries who are uh, affected by extreme weather events uh, and major disasters. Mm -hmm. And so yes, uh, countries can do more and must do more for climate change. It's clear that we are not in target, right. we're not in line with the target that was set up in the Paris Agreement at the global level. Certainly more to be done. The report also warns of more demonstrations on the streets because of inequality globally. And we've already seen that, for example, in Iraq, Iran, Chile, um, and Lebanon recently. What is Turkey doing to make sure that these same problems don't appear here? Yeah. As you're rightly pointing out, these are global problems that are manifesting in several countries. In one country, it looks like it might be the rise in the price of gasoline. In another one, uh, the rise in the price of uh, transportation or the price of the internet or the WhatsApp. But really, what this is telling us, when we dig deeper down, we're talking about uh, systematic exclusion of people from economy, systematic exclusion of people from political decision. So it is very wise for governments across the globe to look seriously into that and how to make sure that citizens are more included in the social, economic and political model in their respective countries if we want to avoid further demonstration and worsening of the, of the social unrest. All right, Claudio Tomasi joining us from Ankara. He's the UNDP's Turkey representative. Thank you for your time.